Hello and welcome back. So guys, in this video we are going to talk about the pointers in a Go language. The pointers in a Go language are very important somehow because uh, you actually can store the memory of the the memory address of the variable in the pointer. For example, there you're saving something. For example, there is a value you want to save. So here you're saving this value. I'm saving here or I'm simply making one or let's make six and I'm just canceling that okay uh, the terminal okay I'm coming back here I want to save this value six in a variable so what I need to do I need to give it a name so I'm writing var and var one and like that but this is actually only the name of the variable in the memory it doesn't look like that it actually looks like a complete address so we can store that address in the pointer how we can actually declare the pointer we need to write var because we declare it in a form of variable and then we give it a name like var2 and or instead of var2 i'm writing p2 or p1 and then now to mention the type of the variable we write int or a string like that but when you are mentioning the integer sorry the pointer we have to add this asterisk sign now this is a pointer okay now it doesn't have any value like here i'm not putting any value by now so if i just go down and i write run fmt.println and here I'm calling p1 and saving it now I'm going here and checking this up and I'm running it now oh okay okay I'm not using the var1 anywhere so let's make it commented so then it won't be any problem for us now go and you're gonna see nil okay you can see that nil here because it has no value so the so it is nil by now not null but nil by now okay and i l now proceed to the next i'm deleting that commenting because i need this variable so here i'm um, storing that variable we can store the memory address of the variable in the pointer so i'm doing the same but first i need to add the Astroph sign and then the var1 that means the name of the variable which is var1 and now I'm going here and checking this up so you're gonna see um, you can see that this is the 0xc0000560 58 this is the memory address of the var1 for example I just want to check the instead of the pointer I directly want to check the memory address of any variable all I need is to write the asterisk sign and then I need to write the uh, variable name which is var1 and I'm going here and checking this up again so you would see both are same that means the memory address of this and the value of this pointer is same okay now one more thing like we do uh, in any programming language and even if previously we did it we do not need to necessarily mention the type of the uh, pointer so I'm directly going like that and you're gonna see that it's still working so if I mention the the type then I have to stick with that type now for example okay we've got the var1 but maybe you want to look for the data of the var1 and you want to access it through the pointer so first i'm just going as usual i'm calling sorry i'm going here and fmt.println and here i'm simply writing var1 because you know the value of the var1 would be simple but now i'm i'm calling the p asterisk p1 okay now by using the asterisk p1 now we're not accessing this pointers saved memory address but instead that memory address is value which is six ultimately so need to go here and need to run that up and now you're gonna see that six and the six 
first you know p1 and astroph uh, var1 is the memory location and then the var1 and the asterisk p1 so throw the pointer and adding the asterisk we are accessing that specific variables value which is connected with this p1 so by the p1 i'm watching the memory address and then we are accessing the data so you know that by this way the asterisk and p1 i mean the pointer and the asterisk we can access to the variables value so when we can access the value then absolutely we can update that value too so i'm updating that right here the asterisk p1 equal and here i'm adding some new value for example nine now i'm going down and i'm running the fmt dot print ln and here i'm writing var1 and fmt dot print i just want to show you by both ways p1 saving it and if i go here and i just run this up and you're gonna see nine and nine because there we just called the value of the variable two times now for example we want to double check the memory location again so i'm writing p1 because you know we have updated it a lot of time but the memory location you can see that it's still the same so these are the things you need to know when you're working with the pointer now when we're talking about the pointer for example you do not need to or you do not want to assign some variable with the pointer but you want to make a new pointer so you can do one more thing for example the p2 equals to new by the new keyword we have to assign the uh, the type here necessarily and then write here asterisk p2 equals to now i'm assigning some value to it and the value i'm assigning is some 89 saving it now it is fine now all i need is to call the fmt dot print ln and i'm calling the p2 saving it and now i'm going here and testing this up so you're gonna see it okay here is the memory address of this p2 okay which is actually instead of assigning a new uh, or an old variable we are actually assigning we are creating a new pointer now if you want to access the value of this created newly created pointer all i need is to add the asterisk and writing p2 and going back there and running this up and you're gonna see that okay the 89 there that means this works it's still some more tricks here if I just go here and I write something like p3 okay var p3 and equal to now assigning p2 interesting I'm actually assigning p2 pointer to a pointer instead of assigning a variable I'm assigning the a pointer to a pointer now saving it and absolutely it's gonna say that it is declared but we didn't use that i'm gonna use that absolutely here i'm going here fmt dot print ln and here the p3 and absolutely i'm gonna check the value of the p3 so asterisk p3 in saving now i need to go here and check this up so after the 89 there are two things we can see if you notice we're getting the value but it's the memory location because here p3 has another pointer so its value is ultimately the pointer the next pointer we have assigned to it so we need to write it like that p3 double asterisk and i'm going here and testing this up again so there we've got 89 because the value of p2 was 89 ultimately now let's talk about a few limitations of the pointer you cannot make arithmetic operators to the pointers for example if you try to do it like uh, here or let's go down there and i'm writing fmt dot print ln and here i'm writing asterisk p2 plus one so I'm going here and testing this up. It is the value we've assigned. But if we go there again and directly P2 plus 1 and saving it, 
so I'm going you know you can see that we've got the error the you know the mismatched type it is the pointer and this is the integer the the simple variable so you can now notice that thing here this is the value of the p2 and this is the i'm assigning the one i'm adding it with the value ultimately like a variable but this is not a variable this is the pointer so when you're actually calling the value of the pointer so ultimately it's a variable but a pointer is a pointer which cannot have uh, the automatic operation so i think it is quite clear let me delete that so you won't be confusing any time and I'm writing here so you would notice that we can't try earth thematic operations on pointers okay save it anyways this is how it works so in the next lecture we're gonna talk about something more till then stay tuned